Maritime Made on Eastlink is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc., helping companies large and small grow through export. Right here in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, there's a world-leading underwater acoustics company pushing the boundaries of innovation in ocean technology. Geospectrum Technologies designs and manufactures many different products for the marine environment that are used by scientists in the Arctic, elite navies around the world, and in all sorts of underwater communication applications. The Geospectrum Hydrophone is an underwater listening device that's used for things like detecting marine mammals and monitoring for problems in oil and gas operations. Geospectrum is um, about sonar systems. Um, we started small and then as we get recognition from the rest of the world, then we're starting to get bigger. So we make all parts of sonar systems. There's nothing that we have to rely on others to do. We, we do it all. You probably most recognize them from World War II movies where a submarine goes ping and it finds a, a, you know, another submarine that way or a ship goes ping. So what you do, um, you put sound into the water and then you wait for the echoes to come back. Um, sometimes you're just listening if you don't want to give your position away. Uh, so that's one thing that sonars are used for is finding submarines. The other thing you use them for are oil and gas exploration. So anytime that you want to find oil and gas beneath the seafloor, you use a sonar system. And the last area of our business is environmental monitoring. So there are a number of companies in the HRM area who uh, monitor the environment for, for their customers and we supply equipment to them. To begin making a hydrophone, a technician secures a ceramic hemisphere in a vise. A wire is soldered, first to one hemisphere and then to the other to connect the two. This is the ceramic sensing element of the hydrophone. The ceramic assembly is placed into a three-stage alcohol bath to remove any contamination, then it's dried. Next, epoxy is prepared and then applied to the two hemispheres, carefully bonding them together to create a sphere. A jig aligns the two halves together and they're left to cure for 24 hours. Once the bond is strong, the ceramic sphere assembly is secured in a vise for more soldering. A small amount of flux is put in place. Then two wires are soldered to the outside electrode. These wires are temporary and will be used for testing purposes. Testing is done at many stages of the assembly. Here, a technician attaches alligator clips, which provide a temporary electrical connection, and checks the impedance or the resistance to flow of an alternating electrical current to ensure the bond is sound. Using a spectrum analyzer, the technician ensures the ceramic assembly is functioning and meets the electrical specifications. Next, the ceramic assembly is placed in a hydrophone test set. The test set uses air pressure to perform a series of acoustic tests. The tests are used to provide a calibration of sensitivity and ensure it's receiving signals properly. Uh, the origin of Geospectrum is me. I started the company in 1994. I had worked for the federal government as a scientist and then as a company designing uh, underwater sound transducers um, and I just got bored and uh, quit one day started working out of my basement and then a good friend of mine Paul Yateman uh, joined me and I convinced him to come work with me and then it grew from there so in 2006 uh, we started to grow we were two people then and now we're close to a hundred people working back on the vice a technician creates the cable assembly Wires are threaded through a disc, soldered in place, and trimmed. On the other end, the signal cables are soldered together. This is precise and intricate work. The temporary wires used for testing are removed from the ceramic electrode, and the wires for connecting the cable harness are prepared, then soldered in place, and cleaned up. With part of the hydrophone case now installed, the assembly is easier to handle. Here, a copper shield is attached to the cable harness. 
The copper shield minimizes the pickup of electrical signals from the environment that could interfere with the hydrophone signal. A connecting wire is soldered in place. At the potting stage, a technician covers all parts with a urethane compound, then fills a rubber vessel with the mixture and slowly pushes the two parts together. At this stage, the goal is to create a waterproof seal and eliminate any air that may be trapped. The assembly is taped together and left to cure for a minimum of 12 hours. Next, a technician modifies a preamplifier. The component is secured and inspected with a magnifying glass. The preamplifier will boost the small electrical signal transmitted from the hydrophone element to a level strong enough to be received by a recording device that will collect its data. The preamplifier is secured in place and attached to the base of the casing. Its connections are soldered in place. The preamplifier is fed inside the casing and a cap is secured to hold it all in place. The hydrophone is ready for the water pressure test. Hydrophones are wrapped and submerged in a pressure vessel. Here, they will undergo a test that applies pressure of up to 4,000 PSI, or the equivalent of the pressure experienced at a depth of 2.8 kilometers underwater. The lid is secured with 24 bolts, and then the pressure valve is opened. This is a wideband, omnidirectional hydrophone, which means it listens to sound equally in all directions over a broad range of frequencies. We do what we do because it's fun for us. Um, it comes down to that. Our philosophy is that if it's not fun to do, why are you doing it? I mean, yeah, sometimes you have to earn money. You always have to earn money. Um, but you want to do it in a way that is, is good for everybody involved. The employees should be enjoying themselves. Customers should be getting what they need at a fair price, and the company should be making a profit. Otherwise, we can't stay in business. So it's, it's, it's based on just what we think is the right thing to do. Very little of what we do has been done before. We're always going in new paths because it's fun. And when you have jobs like that, so the people who are really good at what they do and are innovative come to work for us.